Munafik is a 2016 Malaysian horror movie which was directed by Siamsal Yusuf. This film tells about Adam, a Muslim medical practitioner who is unable to carry on his job and accept the reality of his wife's death. After he meets Maria, unsettling things start to happen. The energy in this movie is so strong and vigorous that constitutes from one effective scene to another which consequently makes your adrenaline rush and sends shivers down your spine. Adam, a conventionally devout physician, and his spouse were involved in an accident that resulted in his spouse's demise. Adam is having a hard time adjusting to the loss of his wife, which has affected his strong religious beliefs. He has also stopped helping people get better since he feels that he is incompetent at what he does. Eventually, he encounters Maria, a depressed person. She is taken over by a malevolent ghost, and Adam is forced to assist in her recovery. But he discovers more enigmatic information connecting Maria to the disaster that claimed his wife's life. It appears that the only option is an exorcism. Hypocrite is another name of Munifik film that is also a cross-genre film, blending horror, thriller, and whodunit structure. But the basic foundation is drama, a robust and well-built foundation, through efficient coding. Additionally, there is a romantic component that adds more than just decoration to the story. In hypocrisy, the romantic element serves as a means of escalating conflict, confrontations that are both physical and internal, making the film rich in texture. Here are two types of terror in Munifik, a religious horror film produced by neighboring Malaysia. First, the psychological terror that haunts his character. The second terror takes the form of interference with supernatural beings. The two terrors are present in tandem and work hand in hand, until at some point they are met by a red line through a twist that is presented seamlessly. Subsequently, we find out that Adam was involved in an accident. Adam witnesses his wife Zalika lying in a pool of blood not far from where his car overturns. Adam then walked up to his wife's dying body. Then, after uttering the two Shahida words, Zalika exhaled her final breath. The Holy Book of the Quran contains two Arabic phrases that a person must recite in order to accept Islam. The unity of Allah and Muhammad as his messenger are acknowledged in these two statements. Munifik is also a cross-genre film, blending horror, thriller, and whodunit structure. But the basic foundation is drama, a carefully built and strong foundation. Through effective coding, there is also an element of romance, an element that is not only an ornament to decorate the narrative. The element of romance and hypocrisy becomes a corridor to a conflict building, both inner and physical conflicts, making the film rich in texture. The film opens with a shot featuring the eyes, the eyes as windows to the heart, eyes that looked anxious and frightened. Adam's eye played by the director, image editor, and screenwriter, Siamsal Yusuf. Siamsal Yusuf is also the filmmaker behind the religious horror film Kurafat, 2011. Yusuf's trademark in building his horror atmosphere through sound and music, again comes in hypocrite. We later learn that Adam had just been in an accident. His car overturns and not far from his position, Adam sees his wife, Zalika, Zarina Zainordan, lying in a pool of blood. Adam then approached the body of his dying wife. Then, Zalika breathed her last after saying the two sentences of the Shaida. Two Arabic sentences in the Holy Book of the Quran that must be spoken by a person if he wants to embrace Islam. Two sentences that acknowledge the oneness of Allah and Muhammad as his messenger. Two sentences that also serve as an introduction when a person is about to return before him. Adam himself later we know is a prominent young Ustads or Alam Ulama in his village. Adam's level of piety and religious knowledge gave him the ability to drive out evil forces through the practice of rukya, a kind of exorcism activity in Western culture. Practices that are believed to cleanse oneself from Satan's influence through the chanting of special holy verses of the Quran. The hypocrite makes religious matters the central theme of his narrative, building the world, not secularism, in his story. Overall, Adam is a man who is gifted with the ability to cure interference from spirits through Islamic teachings. Meanwhile, Maria is a wealthy girl who is having terrible interference from the spirits, so her stepmother, Zadi, asks for help from Adam. However, from the moment Adam meets Maria, challenges and mystery begin to test Adam and his faith. There are another part of this movie Munifik too. Adam is haunted by recurring nightmares, presumably the events of the first Munifik, which include ghastly images of demons in a woman's severed head. But he soldiers on with his faith, determined to be a positive spiritual presence in his community. It's worth noting that Munifik translates from Malay as hypocrite, which the dialogue points out is a great sin in Islam. 
Adam is called into duty when an aging religious leader in a village nearby appears to be possessed by jinn, zombie K creatures under the influence of Satan himself. The old man's daughter, Sakina, and granddaughter, Aina, are harassed and captured by Abuja, a sneering, snarling, black-robed Satanist using black magic to amass an army of followers. His practice, of course, involves outright human sacrifice. Adam has a lot of work ahead of him, particularly after his family is attacked by Jin, and his rescue mission turns into a quest for revenge. Adam has to face Abuja and decide who is the superior, more learned spiritual leader. This will be done in several scenes by both of them shouting claims of their knowledge at the other nonstop, and then with a tremendous deal of chanting and carnage. Munifik II's horror is contextual, stemmed from the idea that not all preachers in Islam teach the right and true ways of Islam. This is exaggerated by the antagonist character Abu Jar played by Nasir Bilal Khan, a preacher who is leading his village into damnation by preaching a false interpretation of Islam. Abu Jar is revealed to be a worshipper of Satan, who is turning Muslims against the true path of Islam using violence and intimidation tactics. Enter the protagonist Ustaz Adam, a role reprised by Syamsul Yusuf, the religious leader at a neighboring village, who has come to Abu Jar's village to try to heal the former religious leader who is now very sick due to Abu Jar's witchcraft, and subsequently to also help his daughter Sakina, played by Maya Karen. The film then centers on Abu Jar's hatred towards Ustaz Adam and the measures he takes to destroy him through acts of slander and witchcraft. Munifik II, a Malaysian phenomenon, is brought to the world via Netflix. The horror sequel directed, written, and starring Syamsul Yusuf earned more money at the Malaysian box office in 2018 than any other locally produced movie ever. Yusuf plays Ustaz Adam in the planned trilogy of films. Adam is a Muslim healer who lost his wife but rose to heroic spiritual leadership by confirming his beliefs. And as these things go, he has to deal with a powerful evil that is frightening a local woman and expanding its reach this time. Probably the best way to describe Munifik 2 would be to imagine any of the multitudes of cult-oriented horror films. Then imagine a faith-based take of it. Because just as those films make everything in them secondary to pushing their message of Jesus and Christianity, so does this for Allah and Islam. And it's every bit as tedious.